Welcome back. Moving right along in this lecture, I'm going to demonstrate how the concept of prototyping works. So once, for instance, you have your app design completed, right? Notice on the right side, there is a tab next to the design tab called prototype. What this means is simply that once you have the app design completed, you can actually view it or preview it from one screen to the other screen or from one object to the other object by linking them together. So let me in fact demonstrate. Let me make this smaller here first. Okay, so in this app, right now we have about three designs or three screens. What I'm going to do is first let me collapse all of these so you could actually see. So I have the first screen. If I click on the first iOS container root, and then I have the next middle one, and then I have the iPhone 8, which is my splash screen. So let me first organize this. So I'm going to drag and make my iPhone 8 as my first group. And then I'm going to take this iOS container root and shift it to the middle so it works. I can also rename it. So I can call it 1. And the other one I can call it 2. So that way it's easier for me to identify, right? So again, I've talked about this. In previous lectures how you can organize it so I'm going to move this exactly 48 pixels apart perfect so this is how the prototyping works so once I select my frame for example any one of these right make it a little bigger so you can actually see so this is my first screen I'm going to select it go to my prototype as soon as I navigate to the prototype tab, notice there's something called the destination. And right now it's none, right? Because all I've done is selected my first screen. But what's different about this is you will notice a small circle displayed. And this allows you to connect two screens together. So I can simply hover over the circle, small dot, and then simply drag it and connect it to the next screen. I can drag whatever I want, right, to this screen, which is the third screen, right? But obviously, I want to go step by step. So I want to first drag and let go, and this will transition to the middle screen, which is iOS container root. And automatically, it shows me in the destination. Same thing, if I were to navigate to my iOS container root one, I will see a small circle simply connect to the destination as being iOS container root two. And the behavior it can be instant or I could dissolve, which is fine. And same thing I can select this. And this I could say, maybe dissolve as well. So now essentially what I've done is I've created transitions, right? among all of my three different screens. Let's go ahead and preview and see what it looks like. So if I would like to present this prototype, I could do so. So click on the present up on the menu bar. And this will navigate to a new screen, which will allow you to actually see just that splash screen itself, the first screen. And then of course, as I click on that, it'll take me to the next screen and so on. So you get the idea. The same thing can be accomplished, by the way, in Envision. So as a separate app or separate website, you can go to envision.com and kind of check that out, see what that looks like. That allows you to uh, do the same thing, do transitioning from one object to the other or one screen to the other and has much more rich features. But for our purpose in Figma, we'll stick to our presentation here. Perfect. So notice it shows me the first screen. Only at this point, I have one of three, right? Because I only have three screens. If in your projects that you're working for a client, you may have tens or hundreds of these screens, right? Because you're actually designing the full app from start to finish. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the first one. It's going to take me to the next one, next, and so on. So as I click on each one of these, is gonna take me from one screen to the other. So that way you can actually 
also present by connecting or using the prototyping as well. That allows you, it's a good feature by the way, that allows you to actually see the transitioning of your app from one screen to the other. And this is good for the UI or the user experience as well. So practice with this. I hope this helps and let's move to the next lesson.